me welcome to the after hour on social catch up i'm so excited and honored to have you here actually thank you for having me congratulations on darling it's your first film and it's such a great film and there are great reviews that are pouring in but before i you know dwell on further on the film i just wanted to have your reaction i have a segment um you know where you react to janta reaction so i have a couple of tweets that i'm going to read and you can react whatever way you want to react to okay okay, okay. let's do it yeah yeah so the first tweet is darlings a must watch movie for all the girls out there for sure the girls should watch it and feel inspired and uh, uh empowered and more, more, they should want to stand up for themselves but boys should also watch yeah you know more, more than girls i think boys should also watch it darlings on netflix is fabulous the dialect the nuances such well written characters alia bhat and shifali shah are brilliantly natural vijay varma plays an asshole convincingly jasmeet kherin as a director is the new age imtiaz ali oh, oh i love imtiaz ali so he's always been an inspiration so thank you i mean it's a great compliment so thank you darlings on netflix is an absolute cinematic representation of how normalized patriarchy is in our country and how subtly this glass is broken by this mother daughter duo by thrashing patriarchy and abuse and women telling women stories a hundred women telling women i think women should tell women stories uh, it's a hundred which is great women should tell women stories women should also tell men stories Yeah, and then the oh. co-writer is is uh, you and a uh, Parvez is also the co-writer, right? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, absolutely. Watch Darlings on Netflix today. A disastrous attempt at making a dark comedy on domestic violence and battered women. Forced acting, disconnected plot. P.S. Please leave your brains aside if you want to watch, cause it might just explode. So this person definitely, I'm sorry you didn't connect with the film, but uh, yeah, hopefully you will connect to the next one. And some things, some films you connect with, some stories you do not connect. नहीं समझ में आया, it's fine. Okay, another one is it is slow, intentionally so. The peak and finale take time. The acting is spectacular. Shifali Shah and Alia Bhatt play off each other so well. I really don't know what the hoopla is. Much more violent revenge have been done before. The slow part was because you have to root for the character Badrunissa, and you should feel her pain and say, "Come on, do something, do something, do something." That was the intent uh, behind the first half an hour being the way it is, so that you feel the you know the gut wrenching mm. feeling that you know, "Kuch to karo." So that was the idea behind that. Baki hoopla, pata nahi yar. Hamne to ek picture banayi hai. uh kuch logo ko so i mean it's up to you whether you will like it or give it love or not and if you are not happy we'll try again what something else that we make i think you know i'll i'll come back to it later but the hoopla was more related to i think before the release of the film then after oh, that the... oh that is focus on positive yeah yeah that was people who haven't who hadn't watched the film after the trailer they were reacting to it. Ah, okay. Got it. Kudos to Jasmeet Kherin for the darling. As a director, she has done an excellent job. The movie is excellent, entertaining, and hard hitting. At the same time, that's a rare combination to crack. Plus, the best thing is to bring on Netflix. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, it's very tricky to do a dark comedy with uh, an issue-based dark comedy. You have to be very sensitive towards an issue. Uh, we have all been very mindful. and responsible and sensitive and i i'm so i'm so glad that it connects that way uh so yeah thank you great the last one is the mystery that drives you in the least understood social message slapping you right into the face is just 100 it's just the caption um the hard hitting yet so subtle dialogues come into the frame with the well written directed scenes by jasmeet kher thank you you like the dialogues and we worked very hard on the dialogues i wrote the script with parvez parvez and i wrote the dialogues first then we also got vijay morya and we all worked very hard towards the dialogues but they were also delivered really well and yeah. in dark comedy that is the trickiest part you have to just say the dialogue you can't just crack a joke because the situations are funny but the characters are so scared all the time or messed up all the time so uh yeah we did our best to write and i'm glad it's getting noticed i i love that dialogue even after the trailer it, it stayed with me um dunya shayad twitter ke liye badli hai hamare liye nahi yeah she had that, that was you know that was because she had to connect with the cop yeah that was that relationship was also very important yeah 
okay so that was all the tweets that i had coming to the questions and we'll deep dive into the film because the film is already released and and a lot of people have already watched it so you know you said it was a black comedy and you you have said this a lot that it's a black comedy but for me um while it is a black comedy um and the first hour is very uh, it goes very sensitive and and deep in its necessity um i felt it was more of a revenge fantasy i agree with one of the tweets here that you know it was more of a revenge fantasy something you know if i have to give reference um quentin tarantino's uh, in glorious bastards or or uh, django unchained uh because you know it's like all of us as women really want to do it but we we then don't do it as well so it's like that desire is being fulfilled there on screen but what made you towards go towards this you know making a domestic violence from this approach i think all ri- creators have a voice okay and you have to stay true to that voice and every time you know you try and say oh ye genre ki, you know i can never say ki ye genre ki picture banate hain the, the examples you mentioned in glorious bastards or uh, django and change i love tarantino i love coen brothers i watch a lot of films from them but never a, never was that a reference point obviously what you watch what you read makes you as a person a whole so maybe at some point whatever i've read in my life has obviously influenced me in some way or the other or watched or whatever but revenge fantasy is an interesting term the reason i won't call it that is yes she fantasizes about revenge but something else happens towards the end hmm. which is why i can't call it a reve- yes there is revenge of course this is also a thriller this is a drama this is a revenge so there are so many genres i am not stuck to a genre of dark comedy we've tried to get a lot of emotions and other things at play because india is a very emotional country you can't you know you have to be stay true to that you have to stay true to the characters so i love the term revenge fantasy it's very very nice uh, but this is a bit more than that because she says revenge is not the answer she says i will not become a scorpio because my nature is to be a main duck so i will not become a scorpio because if i become like hamza then what's the difference between him and me my power is my own why the hell should i give it to him and uh, so that kind of the end kind of changes that that is the thing so yeah they fantasize about a lot of things the mother and daughter because they are completely crazy but it's a fantasy and then something else happens and a realization happens correct right. now which which brings me the story uh, the frog and the scorpion which is very important to the story um where did you find it and and did it become the inspiration for the entire plot line somewhere you know of course we all have heard that story uh, these stories are hundreds of years ago uh, they their fables which everybody has heard of uh, in different ways and fables have a very beautiful you know they are not true stories right but they tell you the true nature of things that's what a fable is it's like never a true story but it tells you how a frog behaves or a scorpion behaves or an ant behaves or whatever and uh, this story came as the mother's dialogue first when shamshu is trying to explain to badru ki men like hamza will never change and you know shamshu thodi hatke hai na thode off hai तो अलग तरीके से ही समझाएगी वो कितनी बार तो समझा चुकी है तीन सालों से समझा रही है कि यू नो लीव हिम डू दिस डू दैट शी इज गेटिंग सो फ्रस्ट्रेटेड कि डॉटर्स नॉट टेकिंग एक्शन एंड सो हाउ एल्स कुछ ही एक्सप्लेन सो वी केम अप विद दिस आइडिया कि यू नो द स्टोरी विल बी सो गुड बिकॉज इट ऑल्सो बिकम्स द बैकबोन ऑफ द फिल्म एंड देन इट इट स्लू स्लोली ब्रू एंड इट डिवेलप्ड मोर एंड मोर एंड देन इट केम इन द क्लाइमैक्स सो फर्स्ट केम इन शमशू निसास डायलॉग एक्चुअली in the cop station and then it grew from there so it was not like it was there in the story or before had no it came there which is i think nice in a way you know the, these uh, badru kind of girls are are there um, they are always there even if you know if i don't talk about the setting that you have placed her in or the location that she is living i i, I have seen um, highly educated also women you know going in this way that you know i'll change him um it's my job to change him और यू नो बदल जाएगा चेंज हो जाएगा एक पर्टिकुलर रीजन बट द मूवी इज जस्ट सो रियल इन इट्स इट्स करेक्टराइजेशन सेटिंग यू नो इवन द एक्सेंट एंड एंड द कॉस्ट्यूम एंड द मेकअप दैट इज देयर आई रियली वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ मच ऑफ रिसर्च वेंट इनटू द फिल्म एंड हाउ डू यू ब्रिंग इट टू द पेपर आई रोट द स्क्रिप्ट फर्स्ट एंड देन आई वेंट टू बाय कलर I wrote the script, but I went to Baikala and I spent three, four months there, just talking to people, meeting people, because the film was based there. And once, and and just having chai with them, just chatting. I made so many friends, and spoke to different kinds of people. But before that, I would I must say that this happens across strata. 
it's not a strata based thing i met women from all across strata to understand the issue then i went to buy club because the lingo was so fascinating and the way they speak uh sad face mat banao darlings you know uh, the way they they speak like that i mean of course we will fictionalize stumps to talk to make it interesting for the film but the lingo was so so cool so a lot of research went in the lingo a lot of words like that i could hear just became a part of life i started talking like that my hindi became like to boli na main main boli thi na to aise mat kar i have started talking my hindi very proper but i also speak started speaking like that and i've started adding s to things like you can't imagine i think people will think that i don't know english also and uh, and the other thing that i saw is this whole visual landscape of baikala which inspired the sets i saw at least 3 400 chawls literally i went to everyone's house i took my dop anil sir anil mehta and garima mathur my production designer everywhere Uh, Veera Kapoor, who's done the costumes, also. I saw a lot. Of, I wanted to have this print-on-print print design for the film, and you have to get that right. You have, to, you know, you have to have a color palette. You, have, you know, visually, you can see all these colors, but they have to all get married very beautifully on screen. You have to really work hard at it. So, a lot of prep, a lot of research first went into this kind of costumes. If you've seen Shamshu's costume, I have seen people dress like that. Badru's costumes also. They like we had a specific uh, like Badru always wears. Uh, mix match colors and shamshu always wears those those ready made suits jo aate you know because there's an income thing in between them for ready suits synthetic hote hain so we have done a lot of research and we i think bought clothes from there uh from those areas where 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 one would shop and veera has been really fantastic so a lot of research went uh, once you and once you go there and you like what you see and you know it goes with the language of the film you just do more and uh, we met people actors have met people A lot of yeah, so that I think just adds a lot of. It looks rooted, it looks real, and at the same time, it adds so much value to the film and to the characters. You know, of course, you have you character sketches you write beforehand and you write backstories and all of it. But when you hear them speak and their challenges, it, it just it just adds an old new dimension. And you and then then I'm able to also serve my actors well, give my actors so much more. It makes it rich. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of research went into it. But I love doing research. I love all this. I mean, it's so much fun. You get to, I mean, you get to see another side of Bombay. It's beautiful. We could actually see. You know, I, I actually know certain kind of women who, you know, I wouldn't say manipulating in a way, but they are very jugadu. Uh, the way Shamshu and Badru is, you know, specifically that scene with Zulfi, where they try to buy things from him and they do, and they're very jugadu in that sense because जो भी उनका setup है वो उसी चीज़ में manage करती हैं और उसी चीज़ में अपना best bring out करने की कोशिश करती हैं। Yeah, because survival teaches you that. Yeah. You know, when you know you have to save five rupees, you will find a way to save that five rupees. You mm-hmm. know, survival teaches you a lot of things. It's and they're very endearing. वो कड़ी पता चुड़ा रही है मेरे को बोलती है मैं bored हो जाती हूँ drama ही नहीं हो रहा है कुछ life में मतलब कुछ तो करते हैं यार एंड कड़ी पता चुरा के चुराना इज अ वेरी कॉमन थिंग इन इंडिया इफ यू सी यू नो सम पीपल से इट्स लक्की पीपल हैव हैव ऑल दिस विमेन हैव ऑल दिस स्टोरीज इन द हेड इट्स लक्की यू नो आप खरीदते नहीं हो आप चुरा के करते हो माय माय माली इज टोल्ड मी दिस सो मेनी टाइम्स सो यू नो देयर लाइक पीपल हैव ऑल काइंड्स ऑफ बिलीव्स एंड दिस मैनिपुलेशन थिंग या आई मीन दे बुली जुल्फी ही हैज अ सॉफ्ट कॉर्नर फॉर देम सो ही आल्सो अलाउज इट टू हैपन एंड यू यू थिंक ही हैज अ सॉफ्ट कॉर्नर फॉर बदरु एट लीस्ट यू थिंक दैट इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द फिल्म बट देन यू रियलाइज व्हाट इट इज एंड शी बाय सेकंड हैंड गुड्स बिकॉज़ शी इज अ होर्डर शी जस्ट कलेक्ट्स स्टफ शी इज अनएबल टू लेट गो ऑफ अ पास्ट शम शो एक्चुअली दैट्स व्हाई शी इज लाइक दैट बट यू नो यू जस्ट टॉक्ड अबाउट जुल्फी um i wanted to come in a very twisting sense of zulfi ki hame aisa lagta hai ki wo badru ko like karta hai but then he just tells me mujhe to khala pasand hai khala cute lagti hai khala cute lagti hai ha so um do you think it was necessary for the film to have uh, you know zulfi feel something for shamshu or could it be that zulfi could only be you know somebody that is is how do you say um hamza say something different as a man in comparison to hamza very different from hamza and just a very sympathetic person towards these two women i want to give hope when there are men like hamza there are also men like zulfi as you said that's true uh when there are men like hamza there are also men like zulfi who you can get who you can find everything doesn't can't be perfect which is why i mean zulfi would have never told shamshu that he likes her because he would have never destroyed that pure relationship that they have it's one sided unconditional love from his side it's just that he's in a mess and he happens to say it 
तो आई वॉन्ट इट एंड ऑल्सो शमशु हैज नेवर हर ऑब्सेशन एंड लाइफ इज हर डॉटर्स हैपीनेस एंड इट्स नॉट मेकिंग लेटिंग सी देर आर टू थ्री थिंग्स इन शमशूज लाइफ वन इज हर पास्ट विच इज वाई शी यू नो शी इज अनेबल टू लेट गो ऑफ दैट पास्ट शी इज ट्राइंग टू मूव फॉरवर्ड विद अ डबा सर्विस विथ हर डॉटर वेर दे कैन बी सॉर्ट ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट बट द डॉटर्स लाइफ इज इन अ मेस एंड आई वॉन्ट टू गिव हर होप एंड वेन जुल्फी टेल्स हर दिस कि मुझे खाला क्यूट लगती है फॉर शमशू Yeah, she kisses him, but she kisses him to stop him from telling the cops. But for her, she's never seen herself as a woman. Yeah, you know there are things that she tells the cops. Are you divorced? After that, who will marry her? Yeah, this is all with the Twitter people. No, you can also be with me. You know, and women when and she's been single, she's never even looked at herself as a woman until that time when Zulfi tells her, and then the daughter accepts it. She says, you know, when there are men like Hamza and Abu, Zulfi is there. You know, I'm okay. I mean, you know, this is different. ये आपके लिए ठीक रहेगा बेसिकली आई डोंट माइंड इफ यू वांट सो आई वुड आल्सो शो दैट द चिल्ड्रन विल आल्सो आई मीन डॉटर्स ऑफ कोर्स आर मोर एक्सेप्टिंग इफ द मदर्स वांट टू टू मूव ऑन सो या आई टू गिव होप पीपल लाइक Vijay Varma has played it uh, because and and how it's written also as well because the only I think um, as far as I remember the only uh, and I'm very young by the way to say this that I, as far as I remember but um, the only person that I've seen so far come very close to um, is is uh, Shami from Kumbhlangi Nights uh, very close to um, what men really are you know behind this whole uh, layered domestic violence and where does it come from what happens the exploration has been very well done in in shamli um i really like thappad as well of Anu, anubhav sinha but it was more of a gender and society rather than uh, you know how how uh, a male probably is brought up and hamza now comes very very close to what happens in inside a home usually people talk about domestic violence they just think you know it's just about the beating it's just about the violence and then there's not much discussed about about it but hamza is is one of the people that actually makes you see what really happens inside the home why a man is doing probably he's doing whatever he's doing it could be various thing it could be his conditioning it could be his frustration from the job that he gets whatever he gets in the job and he's taking it out at home uh, because he thinks he can take it out at home with his wife and how they connivingly manipulate the woman actually they beat and then you know it's it's i'm sorry i love you when everything happens but how much You know, this is such a detailed character. How did you go behind writing? You know, what was the uh, process as a writer in your mind to go into this character? I can get that you can write about Badru or Shamshu. What went towards writing? You know, uh, inside the mind of Hamza. Lots of things. So one is to humanize a character. Any character has to be humanized for me. not necessarily say that what he is doing is right or wrong that's for the audience or other characters to judge i believe that we try to humanize hamza and the idea was to tell people that or at least women or men also actually that he is doing what he is doing because of these reasons that didn't work out well in his life plan which is boss bullying him or whatever else but none of these reasons are justified that was always like you know that's how you create i mean at least in my head i wanted to create hamza like that that you know why are women like when you said manipulation i met so many women just to research you know some one one woman came to me one day and said uh, that this man has been dating they were dating for a long time and she said you know i she was crying and you know and she's much older than me and she's been dating him for a long time it was pure love and all of that she said uh, it was all a lie he just none of it was true but you know and then she said but you know if he manipulates me and he's calls call me for a coffee but if he manipulates me i might actually fall for it hmm. educated independent woman huh? so there are so many such stories i have and then i said you know women know they are being manipulated but that bond is so strong or their dependency is so strong or their self worth is just shaken i don't know what it is there are so everybody has a different reason they that somehow these men are able to manipulate them and the idea was to make hamza that so the idea was to make him human 
I have known a lot of men who have character. I mean, I'm not saying see there is no one person. The film is fully fictional. Okay, and Hamza is also fictional. But you meet men and women, and you understand that manipulation is a charm that they use on women. And he and I knew from day one that he had to be no no wife beater look like all all of them don't look like wife. But I don't want to make him just that. You have to humanize a character with flaws. Otherwise, why is Badru staying with? Him? She's staying with him because she obviously sees something right, and we should see what she sees. So we understand. Okay, she's staying with him because he loves her. He doesn't cheat or like he doesn't womanize. He doesn't do anything else. This one problem he has, she feels that he will change it. That was the. a uh, plan and the idea was to understand why he is the way he is not justify it just to understand it so you empathize with the character and you see this in many uh, many characters and like uh, uh vijay and i discussed so many reference points but after the character was written like we said oh christoph waltz was an ent- entertaining villain in that film you know he was not necessarily a good or bad guy but there was yeah. something entertaining about him phantom thread where where he's such a that control that he has over the woman is something else so that contr- you know because hamza had to be controlling when he when, when he's losing control and grip over badru is when he gets agitated right and he does something bad so that was uh, and there were so many others uh, characters uh, that one discusses and maybe just as reference points but none of them were actually reference points to write the character the character had to be fully original and i always also knew that he had to be a good boy because hamza has to look like a good boy Like a gov, like a sweet, charming. Because according to Hamza, na, that's what he is. He feels that he's uh, doing the right thing. He believes that he's entitled. That's the thing. This this reminds me of the story that you just told, you know, that one of the women that was older to you and everything. Um, I don't know whether you have seen this series or not, Euphoria. Um, in in Euphoria, somewhere, um, in season two. Um, Sydney Sweeney's character also says because Nate is this guy who's um, this footballer and and you know he's a sports person in high school and he has that charm and popularity and everything but he likes to control his women. They've always shown that from the start that he likes to control his women. But she says something that I know he's like this. It's not like I'm not aware of the fact, but at least he loves me. Exactly. And all, all I want is that. And some women are okay with it also. See, Badru's not okay with it. For sure, in the film, she's like, "Listen, I'm not okay with this thing, but maybe he'll change for me because he loves me. Mm. Because uh, you know, I would if I would like. Uh, that's yeah. what she believes. But yeah, some women say, yeah, but at least he loves me. And you know, and because they also feel that I don't know, they it's this being, kind of you know, it's better. It's better than being lonely. It's better than being, yeah. I think more than that, uh, they feel like they or going or they may not find this kind of love in another person. Which is what you know, like even Badru says, okay, I I'll get my respect back from him, and it's it's not going to be okay. Your respect is yours. Your power is yours. You have to stand up for yourself. You will find someone. See, that's why Zulfi makes sense. Zulfi is not for Badru, but you have to give. Like there is hope. You have to just. I mean, it will not happen on your terms. Zulfi, which Shamshu finds, he's a younger guy, but the idea is that you they feel like a. Okay, it's a known devil. I don't know. I mean, it's 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 very sad. It is. But you know, the one thing that I really, really, absolutely loved is you have never shown. Actually, मतलब Hamza is not hitting whenever he is doing that violent thing or hitting. We don't get to see it, but we get to hear it, and that's a lovely point in the film. That you know, it's it's basically depicting how that you know. If I'm, I'm, li- I live in flats, and I can hear things, but I can't do anything about it because it's also, yeah. a, you know, you know, you you hear things, but you can't just go and ring the bell and say, just don't do this because if somebody's home, they're gonna say, what are you doing in my home? And other people just get used to living with it, and specifically the setting that you have placed them, it becomes very common there. And uh, but what made you go through this, you know, this trick to show that people have become okay with it? To show that there can be violence, there can be so many issues in society, but somewhere we are like, ठीक है अभी this is part of life. वो घर पे ऐसा होता है. तो लोग कुछ और बात करते हैं. You know, it's that. Just to show. See, we, we, films can only reflect and mirror society, and uh, that's how it is. And you know, the walls are thin. You can hear, as you said, you might hear this happening in your neighbor's house today, but will you go and stop it? Because you will feel like it's invasive. And uh, but the fact is that it's not about stopping. It's about saying, अच्छा हाँ. वो तो उसको मारता है हाउ इज इट ओके इट शुडंट बी राइट एंड एंड सो मेनी थिंग्स यू बिकम कंप्लेसेंट यू नो टुडे लाइक ये चल रहा है हो रहा है होने दो क्या फर्क पड़ता है अरे फर्क पड़ता है और तभी फर्क पड़ता है व्हेन यू समथिंग हैपेंस टू यू और योर लव वन सो 
that's when because that's what that's what i was trying to show ki badru ki life mein jab kuch hua when she she said oh damn this is like you know so you or you know something will happen to your loved one or something then you feel like oh my god it's bad otherwise you're like chalte ja raha hai and it's not like you don't feel for a person like noor the parlor lady feels for badru but the way that the 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 area is the way the neighbors are there like ha aise ho raha hai aur usse liye situation comedy bhi hogi na she i remember one of the scenes that she's doing a bridal makeup and then this is happening and she just turned on the volume and the bride is looking like tere sath bhi hone wala hai she Did says because tabhi to aurat aur tabhi to badru is taking doing that shoot scene with hamza and she says aurat qurbani ka bakra banega rahegi so we wanted to do a spin on that because you know what was that saying ki people can't even imagine that the reverse can happen hmm which is which is happens so no? shamshu says this to a person who is walking Ramun by and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah she says ki ha and he doesn't Bar-bar. believe her he doesn't believe that that yeah, that's also so yeah i'm glad you mentioned he doesn't believe he's like ah aise because ah. you don't believe and you know like even the cops they will not think ki ye log kya action thodi lenge hmm matlab even raman kaka is like bar bar ke mangaya yaar yeah, right i don't know that anger shamshu actually he's like he's <laughs> no, it's so it's so it's so frustrating now that you feel like you're so powerless. Yeah, That's what she, that moment that they won't believe कि हम मार सकते हैं वापस. हाँ हाँ मतलब कुछ एक्शन ले सकते हैं चला सकते हैं. कुछ भी एक्शन ले सकते हैं. Yeah. But it's it's seen also in domestic violence. You know whatever the real cases that I've heard that one time a woman has picked up something or you know you have done some action or something, the guy realizes कि नहीं बोल सकती है कर सकती है and then they just I don't know, calm down or whatever it is, but they know that they can say it, they can say it. First time, do it. That's what people like. like huh. First time, stop. Right? So, this is not what people believe. It's also what people uh, wow. believe. It's what they say whenever I spoke to people. That you know, first time, that yes, they can say it, they can say it, whatever. But you have to, see, you have to stand up for yourself. That's what I'm saying. You have to, and then you reach. I'm not saying it's easy. Yeah. Nothing is easy. If you stand up for yourself, I mean, there are other things you have to face. and then you have to reach out for help and people will come and help you somebody will come and help you but at least reach out like if badru reached out to her mother or noor and said listen something is happening in the house are you saying they wouldn't help her they would mm-hmm. but she is like stay away from my house i will manage it mm-hmm. that's the thing so yeah but, but the second factor that i love is the ending you know uh, you you give out a message i love that you know that you know it's not necessary for you to become a scorpion you can be a frog and not be wary of a scorpion you don't have to tag a scorpion along with you yeah. because you don't have to become like the other person otherwise you will go crazy yeah. i mean how i mean if somebody does i mean somebody suppose abuses you even verbally you'll abuse back and it can keep going you can there's no end to that uh if you want to change if you want to fix see every relationship can have problems and roadblocks right you have to fix things yes of course you should try and work hard at relationships i believe you should try and fix them uh, which badru tries to do but how can you fix something that doesn't want to be fixed hamza doesn't want to change that is the problem and when she realizes hamza will not doesn't want to it's not like he can't it's not like he's uh, uh, uh there, there is some something else stopping him it's himself so if he can't change then he doesn't want to res- he doesn't want to respect you you have sh- you, you should be able to walk away that's what and you can walk away and the most difficult thing in a relationship is to walk away whatever your problem is you know it doesn't have to be domestic violence but you know how it is. i mean it's very difficult to let go because even toxic relationships people don't walk away it doesn't have exactly. to be that there are marks on the body or it's visible it's emotional also as well and then they don't exactly. walk away that is that's the hardest right breakups are very hard i yeah. mean for smaller reasons also they're very hard so but but there has to be i mean i'm not saying walk away is the answer i'm saying that if the other person is changing for you yes great if they are making an attempt great but if they are not then what's the point yeah. is, is that why also you killed hamza in the end i was to give a karmic message ke okay. karma will take care of him it was more that ke you know uski saza usko mil jayegi is what the daughter tells the mother right she says you know because the mother because the point is that hamza did push her down the stairs and she lost her child because of that hmm. his child who imagine which man kills his own child it's not it's insane so what about his karma like it has to tie up somewhere and she says no but he will his father, he uski saza usko mil jayegi but why should i be responsible for his death because you know then i can never live with that guilt and that's why so karma had to take care of hamza actually you know this miscarriage when i was two minds about it because you know i was i was watching this movie with my mom actually 
and she was as soon as it happened and and then she takes this you know this entire change comes in badru she was also like ki bahut jaldi nahi ho gaya bahut jaldi revenge ke usme aa gayi ki revenge lena hai ya fir thoda aur time lena chahiye tha and everything and then i was you know contradicting her that you know i don't think jaldi hua miss carrot is a lot traumatic effect usko bahut tez ye cheez lagi in a sense of you know usko ek thappad laga ek jhatka laga which she probably needed to see it thing thappka it's actually you're right it's a thappka see many things are happening for years in her life hmm. she's a girl who wants a better life who has a dream plan that she takes wants a bigger house she's not a girl who wants nothing out of life right she wants a girl who wants something out of life and she believes that when hamza changes everything will be right so it's been brewing in her head for really long this was just a trigger what she realized here is that problem is not with alcohol it's with him and when that realization happened and she realized shit i'm i'm the victim here for for all this while to i was trying to you know tell him that okay you change you're sick you know you like that like, that you are the victim and she was trying to make him change but then she realizes i am the victim and that's when all when all this uh, you need one dhakka and that one dhakka sometimes just you know sometimes at the lowest point now the road becomes very clear to you your, your what you want becomes very clear to you that clarity comes in that uh, I, you know i hope everybody doesn't have to reach a low point for that but sometimes the dhakka is required it's like you know when you're growing up and you and and you're studying and you know uh, suppose you fail in a subject that dhakka only in life is good because then you will work hard and say okay fine let me just gear up because failure is possible in life and then you work harder right so sometimes you need that uh, and i in this case it was very sad but yeah i i absolutely loved the film all the characters but coming to just end of the interview and two general points that i want to ask you not inside of the story of the film but outside of it Um, you're the first time director, and Alia Bhatt was also a first time producer. So, how did you find the balance in your relationship? Considering you know she was, also plays Badru as well. On, oh uh, yeah, yeah. So Alia firstly came as an actor on board, then she also wanted to produce it, which was I think great support for the film because the film, the script is a bit different. Oh, uh, uh, and you know to have, oh, uh, as I said earlier, I always wanted. my own voice to be there and for her to say i'll co-produce it with her actually it was firstly a great thing uh in terms of uh, collaboration and she's amazing yeah so firstly she's talented so when she plays badru she's she was an actor on set she was just an actor on set not a producer on set because we uh, like actually is live produced the film so on set she surrenders to a director because she's hungry she's hungry to pick out everything from everyone because you know when she and and, and i keep telling i kept talking to her we discussed the character beforehand we discussed the script we had so many meetings that once we were on set and we found that sync i think we just flew with it it became a very healthy beautiful collaboration of course i gave it my best shot but you know the credit also goes to her because she has seen and she's more experienced than i am and uh, Uh, the credit goes to her to make it easy you know uh, for sure and uh, she made it easy for me so for me if i'm saying it seamless i think we are, obviously i would work at it because my first movie and i would give my best shot because she's alia and she's great uh, in terms of talent and stardom but she also i think made it very easy for me and all my actors uh, i prepped with all of them beforehand so and alia is a producer you know uh, she was an actor on set and then post afterwards i went to edit the film and all of that and after she saw the first cut she wore the producer hat by then because the sync was already there i just it was a seamless yeah actually it was seamless the trans the, the the transit from actor to producer so i think when you are in sync and when you respect each other's creative space and you put the film ahead as a focus it this happens because film comes first and for me the film is first obviously first not me not anybody else and uh, i think alia also thinks that way story script film so then i think everything falls in place you know since it's a, such a sensitive film um i've always wondered because you know i've seen a lot of content on on domestic violence or abuse or something how is it that you actually shoot it or how is it that actors really work it out in real sense because i don't i don't think alia bhat was really hitting vijay varma with the heel or was vijay varma hitting alia bhat with the heel or or how does it really work out how we shoot it you mean practically in practically yeah so you have a lot of shots when you shoot a two shot and you're not seeing the hand 
he's doing this on the table so you're not seeing the hand at that time and the hand is not in frame then you take close ups of the hand uh sometimes the actors put their own hand and but you have to be very good at that yeah thing here and i don't want to cheat it i wanted the shot where the heel has to so in fact vijay's friends told me later after they watched the film we are screaming and they said no wonder we used to see one red shoe lying in his house and we were wondering what is happening with his life <laughs> and we had sent vijay a shoe ki aap practice karo ha huh? if you're good at it then we let you take alia's hand otherwise i'll not give you alia's hand because she has to shoot right if you get injured that can hurt very badly yeah, i tried it on my hand too so so then you have action directors also who help you with the close up shots and they rehearse this whole thing and their hands are done or uh, are taken and we do this and alia's hand was there but the guy who's doing the action he's an action director so he may not be hamza or uh, vijay uh, although sometimes actors can do it but what we did is we used action directors and then we replaced alia's hand there's a lot of the effects the thing that goes on is there any deleted but, yeah yeah uh, is there any uh, deleted scene uh, that you really like and but you had to delete because it was not going in sync with the film or something what is not part of the film should not be there there are deleted scenes but aisa nahi hai ki oh shit agar wo hota to film better hoti no no otherwise it would be in the oh. yeah otherwise it would be part of the film yeah <laughs> thank you but thank there you. are but there are i hope you i think we'll release them at some point yeah i i would love to see that um thank you jasmine thank you for your time thank you for doing this this was a lovely thank chat so, thank you so much you thank you lovely talk to you thank you Bye